get our best bets of the weekend then. And uh, come on, James. Do you yeah, new well, panelists, so we can start with you. Three selections. Saturday, I think you are going to find me a bit mad here, but I'm actually taking on Altior. I'm going with So Royale in that. I just think he's so quick and he's just so slick over his fences. And a replay of last year's Henry VIII chance, he was so impressive there. And on his I, head now, be it like to tip something like that on his debut. Oh, and what a what a well, you, you know, tell you what, you, you live and die with it's the sword. Make or break now, James. Yeah. I just think he could make Altior pay if he hits a bit of a flat spot late on in that race. And of course, don't forget we are money back second to the SP favorite at Navin and Sandown on Saturday in all of our Republic of Ireland shops. And then on Sunday, I just can't see past Greyfield. I fancied him for Cheltenham last year, and he missed the festival. I think this is a race that Willie Mullins just tends to farm, and he's won it so many times, and I can't see anything to upset that trend here. Annabelle Fly could run into some prize money there, but Greyfield is the one to catch under Jolie McGarvey. It's the only one Annabelle Fly as well. He actually has decent form over two miles. I know he's a stare, but he's not slow. Like, and he actually could run. He could definitely finish second. Okay, best bets of the weekend. Cheeky, travel. Favourites travel, perhaps, is it? No, I've got a nap Chica Buena in the 2.40. Okay. She's a progressive mare. She loved the ground, which the opposition may not, and she'll have the run of the race. She's currently around 5-1 to one in an 8-runner race. If all 8 run, she'd be an all-in each-way job, but I'm a bit concerned that yeah. the non-runners with the ground. But I'd, I'd put her up as my nap in the 2.40. I'll stay with Aintree, the 3.15. Catamaran de Soy. Ridden by Brian Hughes. You love saying that. Well, I do, yeah. What a rider, by the way. Well, but he's, he's, like, he's, 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 he's a brilliant rider, you're right, but the national fences. He's yeah. the heir apparent to Paul Carberry. He yeah. just owns these national he's fences. He's such an enjoyable rider to watch. Indeed. King of the North. Indeed he is, and uh, the King of Aintree this weekend, uh, hopefully. Um, uh, I think he's a well-handicapped horse on a hat-trick, only a six-year-old. Um, I thought he'd go close. He's around eight to one. So that's two that aren't favourite. So I uh, will uh, top off the Trixie with what's what's he called? A A Altior, is it? A A Altior, yes. Yeah, so I'll, I'll go. I'll go with him. Yeah, I've, I've okay. heard good things. Okay, yeah. hold him through the middle of your, your Union Jack or whatever. Yeah. All right, go on. It's only one. Straightforward treble Altior into the Sunday Fair of uh, Forge Meadow into Shatter Love. Two mares and Altior. Two mares and Altior. What a way to finish. Right, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll be back again next week for more What's the Word in association with Labrooks.